Hey everybody, this is Alex Rich and I'm going to talk you through how I use some Kaggle data on credit card behavior to do some clustering and to do a little bit of visual analysis of about uh, 2,500 of the 9,000 consumers represented inside that data set. So to start off, I pulled down the data from Kaggle. This is where it came from. Uh, it's about 8,900 customers worth of credit card data gathered over a six month period of time. And it covers things like their balance, uh, the frequency that they had a balance, purchases, uh, there's some more interesting stuff in terms of credit limit, uh, the number of times that they, or the percentage of payments that they make that are for the full amount that they have um, on a card, and their tenure with the company. So once I had that, I went in and built out um, this flow in uh, NIME. Initially we had a CSV reader, a K-means clustering algorithm to cluster on just a few of those uh, features, a color manager, a standard scatter plot, but the more interesting thing to me was the scatter matrix that lets you change out the, um, the features that you're putting on different axes and view in a matrix how that changes and how these elements that are clustered based on a couple of features behave in different aspects of, of the data set. So initially uh, pulled up the CSV reader and loaded in the uh, CSV uh, that I downloaded and left everything else default. That was fine. Challenging thing about Kaggle because, or about uh, NIME is the number of error messages and okay pop-up boxes that you get. I think that just happens when you do something that's so GUI based and I'm not a huge fan of it, but it works out okay. Uh, for k-means, um, you can go in and put in whatever you want for clustering features. I chose just balance and cash advance frequency. Let's see, you know, if, if people who have high balances and who often take cash advances have a different set of characteristics in the other data sets uh, or in the other features of this data set. So left that uh, and clustered based on just those two. And uh, Color Manager, I think I left that default. Um, you can go through and change to do, for example, like a colorblind safe color scheme, but I found that the default was the most um, visually easy for me to deal with in the matrix array that we're gonna look at here momentarily. So I ran all that and then up in this scatter matrix, This is a visualization of that. So this enables you to be able to push different features into the uh, axes of the visualization. And that lets you do some interesting things. I think the, the most fun thing here is the ability to go in and highlight some uh, consumers and see where they fall on all, all the other axes. Real challenge here is the, the Y axis doesn't uh, stay with readable labels, so you have to kind of infer off of the X axis what you're reading. And I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's nice to be able to quickly do some visual analytics on a data set this way. So what I found is interesting was there's this set of consumers with relatively low balance, and uh, if we read off of here, purchases is this element here relatively high number of purchases. So that tells you um, they're, they're buying a lot of stuff and paying it off pretty quickly. So I'm able to go in and highlight that cluster of folks and have them highlight on all of the other elements in the matrix. So when we do that, we're able to go in and look at, say, credit limit. Um, and you can see they're all over the place. That These purple highlighted folks are all over the place in terms of credit limit. They didn't really cluster out um, as cleanly um, because we clustered on other features. So those are maybe not as related. Uh, another thing we can look at is the tenure. Uh, and you can see that all of those folks that we've highlighted, or almost all of them, are out at this 12-year uh, tenure. So that's an interesting thing. You know, nothing earth-shattering here, but I think what I've shown you is kind of an interesting way to be able to cluster off of a couple of features and to visualize the way that those features are or are not related to a bunch of other features on the same consumers in sort of an interactive way. So that's all I got for you. Happy to take questions in the discussion forum and uh, I'll see you in there.